Hey guys, cool blonde back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. And we are back with HiQ. Last time on HiQ, we left off. The score was like sixteen, sixteen. Uh, I wrote fifteen, fifteen. That's the last one I wrote. But it yeah, was I even. I'm sure it's even numbers. Uh, it's tied up, regardless. It's we're in the end game now. Kyotani finally became a team player all of a sudden. Mad Dog, yes, he did. Uh, but there was a very nice move at the very end with yeah. Hinata and Kageyama. Yeah, doing like a, a spiker dump, I guess. I don't know what it'd be called. It was just like a vertical spike. It was great, fantastic. Um, Yabi, Yabi, uh, <laughs> talked to Mad Dog and got him to like. Put the team forward. Yeah, I understand that he's a part of a team and what he does reflects them. And But but he has the power, then. He also has the support. Yeah. As well. So. Uh, Tanaka was great as well. So it was Suki. And Asahi uh, scored some very fine points as well. Yes, he did. But it Tanaka seems... had the moment. <laughs> With the crow behind him. It was pretty great. Uh, the team's coming together. This is... This is it. Uh, third set. In game. Let's go! At least it didn't make you wait. <laughs> to see <sighs> the end of it. But they made us wait for the emotional payoff! Oh, they won. I know! <laughs> you doubting Thomas! Oh, but how do they win the next one? Tobio's finally buried his demons. Maybe it's because it's a team of six, and as incredible as, uh, what's Ushiwaka. his name? Ushiwaka. Is, is it Ushiwaka? Ushiwaka. As incredible as he is, like, maybe the rest of his team isn't. I don't know, but that was great. I mean... I only went to 26. It's amazing. I mean, Ushiwaka, he reminds me, he just seems like a warrior king. <laughs> And he would, I'm sure he would demand perfection from those he's playing with as much as himself. I don't know. I bet I'm, it's sort of something I can look forward to, getting to know that team better. Because that's what Haikyuu does best. Yeah, it gives us. It breaks, it, it shows everybody and it gives them all the moment. Builds everyone up. Yeah. There's only one episode left in the season. And there's like 500... Tell me there's like more seasons. Uh, there's more seasons. There's like five, right? There's four. three and four. Yeah. yeah. And they're already um, translated? Three definitely is. I don't know four is. Just say four is too. <laughs> uh, I only have like one note and it's just dear God. <laughs> no, it's good. Mad Dog hit it with his left hand. Um, I liked how Okai was talking about Kageyama, how, like, like, he's such a fool, like, he doesn't hesitate, like, he doesn't think that he can miss, you know? He just reacts and he does it. I um, mean, but, I mean, that's, that's, that seems like that was, like, half the battle from this entire, um, championship was just making sure, like, every single team, they all had issues with, like, giving up too early, basically. Or, like, just not going for it. Not giving it their all. And if you have a problem with giving it your all... But, I mean, that's not what Abijosai did, and they still lost. Yeah. Abijosai gave it their all to the end. Yeah, and then it ended. It did. The right team winning. <sighs> Tadashi, um, had a good serve, but wasn't able to get any points. So, at least his confidence should still be okay. Oh, yeah. And then Suga was amazing in this last set. Like, Suga's great. He was able to read them perfectly. He knew they'd be watching for him to do something tricky, and instead, <laughs> Kageyama did it. So, and his all of his serves oh, were spot right. on. Oh, he caught his face, too. Like, Suga! <laughs> <laughs> well, just... It was such a beautiful parallel to the first time that we lost against them. Well, and what's so crazy is, like... Like, Okawa is so good, but he's a third year. 
-hmm. And Kageyama is almost as good in as a first year. I feel like. Yeah, it's true. So just think of how much better Kageyama is going to get. How much better our team is going to get. And that means how much better our rivals are going to have to get. Ushiwaka is a third year too. Mm hmm. He'll purposefully fail his subjects <laughs> and have to stay in high school extra year. I don't uh, know if that's the way they do it. I mean, he's probably going to go on to the uh, national team. Yeah. Probably. I wonder if. Like, I love our third years, but I wonder if any of them are like national team quality. You Just know? by themselves. Yeah. Like, I think Daichi is awesome and solid. I don't think he's like an all-star, you know? Like, Asahi is still their ace, and he's really good, but I don't think he has the potential that Hinata and Kageyaki, uh... Kageyama. Kageyama do. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think of all of them, Suga's real good, but I feel like of all of them, I would pick Daichi. Sure, he's like... He... He isn't like 500% in any places, like... Some people are. Yeah. But his, just like all of his stats are just all so high. He can just fill in all the cracks. He is like mortar. He's the only thing that's keeping this castle up. And everybody else is like big weird shaped rocks. Yeah. Maybe. But he fits in all the cracks. <laughs> I think um, I think Suka does a good job too. Suka does do a good job as well, and so does um, the guy that came in and replaced Taichi for the little bit too. You know Shida. You know Shida, yeah. Uh, I didn't. Mad Dog is he? Kiyotani. Is he a third year? I don't think he is. So he'll be back. Hopefully. But um, yeah, I, I was... mean, I would feel really bad <laughs> if he went like basically three years in the school and just had that bad of a relationship with him. I think he's a first year too, isn't he? I'm not sure. I think he might be a first year, yeah. But first like, or second. Um, it's, it's not just up. Oikawa, but there's a lot of third years on their team, I think. I think... Um, I think Onion, Iwaizumi? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he's a third year. Onion Head isn't, though. Is he not? No, because he was with uh, Kageyama. Mm. Okay. Sorry, Onion Head. Don't know your name. <laughs> I could probably draw his face, though. The hair does this. Like an onion. <laughs> yeah, great match. Um, Stunning. If this is as far as they make it, I'll, I'll be happy. But they might make it all the way to the Nationals. How can you just keep setting yourself up for stopping? What have you learned? I learned that they lose sometimes. You, they don't plan on losing like you do? I'm not planning on it. I'm just saying it's a distinct possibility. And I'm glad that they made it this far. Let yourself feel some hope. <laughs> I have hope. I'm not blinded by it. You just need a check! <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason! There's no reason for that! I wonder if... um. Like, I wonder how far the show goes. Like, do we ever catch back up to Oikawa? Or is he just... He starts coming... Gone forever. That's how we get our cheer people behind the flag. It's all the teams, all the third years we've ever beaten, come to cheer for us. And not their own schools. Ah, uh, I hope if we do make it to the Nationals, we have a... A section. That actually cheers for us. It's not just, um, the two people from the neighborhood group, Yachi... And um, Tanaka's sister, Psycho. Although I think my favorite thing from this match was the back and forth set where the crowd just went completely silent. It's like a good wrestling match in Japan. Where it's just so good, they just don't make a noise. That's when you know it's good. It certainly makes you feel like... Oh, it's just so tight. Everywhere. Uh, just you st it just starts in your throat and just gets tight and like it just travels down to your stomach's just tight and you just everything sp sphincters closed and you're just like ah don't pick it up it's just oh I'm so proud of the whole team though like yeah. they really all came together and 
were able to utilize what they've been working so hard for. Like every single. Why do you just sound like a CEO when you say that? I'm just so proud of how our teams come together. <laughs> you can't like take take a note out of Enid's book. Just use words like whoosh. bang, whoosh. <laughs> Show what you feel. It's beautiful. I need to. I'm starting to make a list of like their future special moves mm. that that they could be working on in the future. And so that left hand. Yeah, for me, uh, for Mad Dog. Yeah, the left hand move. Mm -hmm. Can you think of anything others that showed up? I mean, just Oikawa's crazy serve. Crazy serve. You know, just how powerful it is and. Baseball pitcher serve. That was amazing. And, I mean, call was cross-court set. Oh, yeah, the cross-court. Like, that was awesome. And then, like, he was, like, he fell into the seats and... He Broke was, his back. Like, he was trying to run back, but he was tripping on, like, the towel. And he made it back in time, and he got the last touch on the ball. But, <sighs> Hinata. Hinata. There was a triple block on Hinata. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> like, who was it? Coach Yukai that was talking to Oikawa in that flashback, or was it just you know, some coach? Um, I said Coach Yukai, right? Yeah. Why would Coach Yukai be talking to him? I don't know. No, no, no. The past. It wasn't. It's not him. Coach Yukai. Okay. I don't think. I don't know. Yeah. No. He was just, too tall. <laughs> How can you tell? There's no comparison. He's just beside you windows. You can see out the window. Coach Yukai's not that short. He's so short. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy that, like, he had to aim it at Oikawa. And it worked. Amazing. It glanced off because. Was that Hinata getting more power? Because they mentioned it before that like people keep dug digging up his his um, spikes. I, mean, I because think that's a little too, but I think like Okawa just wasn't in the perfect position either. Like he had to run all the way back onto the court, you know. And like the play he made was incredible, and like if if that had been the game winner, it would have been in the highlight reels for all time. If this was taped and like televised, you know. I mean, I guarantee you it is. But I mean, even so, like the like that's a play that will be remembered. Yeah. I just like if the Shiro Torazawa team are watching our our games. What do they think? Do they feel still think that we're like the parking lot? I don't think so. No. I think like everyone Fertile soil. I think everyone can see especially that Kagiyama and Hina are something special, even if it's ref unrefined. Yeah. I think First year and refined. Yeah, I think people can still see that as a threat. I just, I don't want them to go up and basically like walk up to Shiro Torizawa and just be crushed, like they're freaking touch a twenty thousand volt wire and they just get blown off the court. Jobbed like, out. Yeah, just bad. It's like for we have been exposed so little to like their powerhouse of a player that like are we just imagining it's way worse than it really is like once we actually get there we start measuring up it's like yeah sure it's like we're a little off or we're a little nervous at first but like then we can like oh we measure up well, there's only one way to find out ha <sighs> <sighs> thank you for watching this episode of high q you can see the next one right now over at patreon.com slash blind away full link there too also make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a reaction Click that notification bell as well, because sometimes we just drop stuff that you might be interested in. Like, announcement videos. <laughs> Go check out the last one. It was fun. I got a little lost.